we were getting frustrated because of every time we looked at our mortgage statement, the principal wasn't going anywhere. It was disheartening, to tell you the truth. We thought, it's like, we may never get out of debt. We're people of faith, so we prayed. I have all the utmost trust in Keith because he seeks the Lord before he does anything. Like, okay, I'm gonna give this guy a shot because I knew, I just could tell he was a believer. It, it was the Lord, because I've been praying about financial wisdom. The gentleman said that we it was a good fit for us as far as it goes. We could do this with, with our income that we are okay. making and stuff like that, and we could pay our house off in two and a half years. Wow. That about floored me. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, really? Whenever that last payment went in, I could have done the dance of joy in the front street. <laughs> you almost did. <laughs> so you were able to cut, you know, somewhere between eight and, and 13 years off of paying off your house. No, absolutely, yes. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, and the, and the amount of interest. Hi, I'm Glenn Carey, part of the customer success team at Replace Your University. I'm joined today by Keith and Lynn Hayes. And Keith and Lynn Hayes have been students of Replace Your Mortgage for quite a while now. And I just wonder if you guys could kind of tell us maybe a little bit about how you found us and, you know, some of the story about, you know, coming up to the decision to work with us. Give me the early Genesis story of Keith and Lynn Hayes. It's Lynn with an E too, by the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were getting frustrated because of every time we looked at our, our mortgage statement that our, the principal wasn't going anywhere as far as to, to us, you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah. just going back and reviewing it, uh, the other day, it was like from one, from it took, uh, we'll say from almost a whole year for just the principal to go up like 14 or $15. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was, it was really, I mean, it, it was sad of like how, you know, like, uh, our interest rate, I don't know the exact, I don't know the exact rate the, uh, uh, we had, but we were paying almost double in interest than what we were toward principal. Right, right. You know, and we and I always paid a little over of what they what the what the requirement was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say, you know, so it wasn't like so I got to help it out and everything. But anyways, we just start getting frustrated about it, and mm -hmm. it was disheartening to tell you the truth. Sure, it's like sure. we we thought it's like we may never get out of debt. You know, right. for right. because of the sum that we owed. And one day I was sitting on my back porch uh, listen, listen, listening to actually listening to videos on YouTube. And mm -hmm. on the side, you know, on, on the side there, they have what you could look at, you know, right. coming and whatnot. And I saw Michael there, you know, in a little. Mr. Lush. Little, I for, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I okay. forget what it said you know, underneath of it. So I'm like, I'm going to check this guy out. So okay. I, I watched his presentation there. And then from there, I, we get, um, I start talking to my wife about it and everything. And, um, I scheduled a, a call to just discover, just to, to see what more about it and everything, you know, and I went online and watched what I could, you know what I mean? Because I wasn't a member then at the time right, right. and everything. Mm -hmm. And it was just one thing led to another as far as it goes. But that's how it came about. And I really, I, I don't care what anybody says. It, it was the Lord because I've been praying about financial wisdom. Okay. And that, and we had uh, previously had gone through, did uh, what a couple of years before that we went with Dave Ramsey and did, and went through that about budgeting and stuff like that mm -hmm. and whatnot. And we, we adopted, some of his strategies about budgeting, sure, you know, and everything. And that was really working well. And I was really, you know, and for what Michael was saying on that video and everything, and it was like, this made sense. It, it, I shouldn't say it made sense. It was um, like, okay, I'm going to give this guy a shot because I knew that he was, I just could tell he was a believer. Okay. You know? Yep. And, and everything and then like i said we pursued it and then we pr went from there and then i had to convince her <laughs> so so eventually you you decided 
um, Keith, that you wanted to move forward. And step one was to get Lynn with an E on board, right? Oh, absolutely. How did that go? Tell me a little bit about that. Lynn, maybe from your perspective. <laughs> I'm not, I get nervous. Um, I, I will tell you anything. Keith will research things to the fullest extent. He will, okay. um, being where we were and, you know, the, the finances where they were, we weren't hurting. We were making payments. We were able to, you mm -hmm. know, pay our tithe and bless people. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. the, the frustration of that mortgage, not making progress. Right. Right. And when he came to me with something new, it was, <laughs> are you kidding? Are you serious? And again, we're, we're people of faith. So we prayed. Um, mm -hmm. And as I said, he researches everything okay. before he presents something to me. We discuss it. Um, then he you know, showed a couple of videos that he said, you look what Michael Lush is doing and, and yeah. listen to what he's doing. And then Keith and I talked about it. He explained it a little further and, I have all the utmost trust in Keith because he seeks the Lord before he does anything. So he convinced so guys, me if that's the right word. I'm not incapable of making decisions. Right. Um, but we agree that both of us, before we make any move, it's a, it's a joint effort. Yeah. Amen. So you guys kind of came alongside each other and agreed that this was the path you wanted to go down and you decided to sign up for replace your mortgage how did things go initially, you know, after you signed up? Talk about the first, you know, couple of steps that you took in our process, getting things arranged, um, getting your bank list, going through the design call, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the first thing we did was um, schedule the call, of course, okay. online. So we mm -hmm. get the phone call and everything and so forth. And then... Once we got the phone call and everything, uh, as far as it goes, as it was more or less, they told us what we would need as far as it goes that to have, we'll say the discovery call, I guess if you would call it. Okay. Okay. It's like, as far as it goes, is our financials and stuff like that to, and sure. to see if it was a good fit for us mm -hmm. and everything. And then um, it was, what it was only, I don't know, maybe a couple of days or maybe even a week th that, lapsed for us to you know until for our next call okay then we got when we got that call that the gentleman said that we it was a good fit uh that, you know for us as far as it goes we could do this with what our income that we've had we have we are okay. making and stuff like that and we could pay our house off in two and a half years wow that about floored me okay <laughs> you know i mean really you know so and it, what's that the initial, we'll call this the sales call, the discovery call. They said that you would be able to pay your house off in two and a half years as compared to what with your mortgage? You were fairly early on in the mortgage. Oh, we probably, we still owed a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. And, and we, I forget the, the, I think we had another 10 to 15 years to go. Okay. Okay. So you were able to cut you know, somewhere between eight and, and 13 years off of paying off your house. No, absolutely. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Tell What's that? More. Tell me more. <laughs> well, and that, and the amount of interest. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, then he, um, then once, once he said that, then, um, of course he told us like there was a couple different, um, levels of, of what we could join at that time. Okay. And we chose to do the lifetime at that time. I okay. think it was the I think it was called platinum at that time. I okay, don't know. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And and then once once uh, we were able once we got we made that payment and everything, then I had the access to get the get the uh, the bank list and so forth and so forth. Mm -hmm. However, uh, when I was talking to I can't remember the gentleman's name. I. I, 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 for some reason, I keep on thinking it's Ed, Edmund did it, but I, I might be wrong. Okay. But anyways, um, he told me that there was a gentleman, that there was a person that he knew from PNC, because that was our bank at that time was PNC, okay. that would be able to help me out as far as it goes, you know, and everything, even though I was still was equipped with all the questions I needed to ask the bank, you know, to, to get this lined up in the right perspective and everything. 
Right. Uh, however, that person was in a branch, I think, in Delaware. It wasn't my local branch. Right. Okay. And then once he got me in contact with him, and we went over everything as far as it goes, as what he needed to know as far as it goes as the, the financials mm-hmm. and everything. It was a matter of, I don't know, a couple of weeks, maybe at the most or something like that. And no, it was longer than that. Huh? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> well, it was, it was a little bit of time. <laughs> well, put it this way, yeah. And then, and then we were we were on our way to go over and sign all the all the paperwork over to our local branch. Okay. Gotcha. So, I'm, you know, it, it was a very easy uh, process. You know, I mean, it was you know, it wasn't difficult at all. So. Throughout this process, how, how would you describe like the expertise of the replace your mortgage staff that were helping you? Was it was it uh, easier because of them, or or do you think they made any difference in, in you guys getting this set up? Oh, they they definitely made a difference. It, it was so much easier for they made it so much easier because then it wasn't us going to the bank and have to go in and we're asking all the questions and everything. Even even to get us to the that point. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as it goes, is to to even uh, address about even applying and so forth and everything. It was they they made it so much easier, and they definitely uh, they definitely knew what they were talking about. Okay, okay, gotcha, excellent. So, if you could kind of go back and and you know in your head look at the amount that you invested to get into the program versus the amount that you saved in paying off your house. How much of a payback would you say that was for you? It was like two times or three times or any idea? About 10. 10 10x on your investment. That's not a bad investment return. And that, that I'm, that I'm saying that minimally, you know what right. I mean? Okay. What, what have you done? Like, so, so you got your house paid off in, in the uh, time that you thought you would or, or faster or no, it, it it took it took a uh, longer because of some some things came up and it, 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 well, it was and, and it, we we got our uh, got this right in the middle of COVID. Right. Okay. Um, it was in twenty twenty, the beginning of twenty twenty, when we initially were starting the whole pro. You know, like well, say December of nineteen, and okay. twenty twenty January of twenty twenty was when we were I was able to start filling out the form to get the bank, the, the bank uh, list and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And everything. And then once everything start rolling that March, they come into my job site and told us we're shutting down. Mm. They shut okay. they shut me down and I didn't, and I wasn't allowed to go back to work for from March 20th till sometime I uh, like late May. Wow. Okay. So I had Z- Actually, I had zero income because with me being self-employed, I wasn't allowed to collect unemployment. So right. we were just, you know, so we were just relying on my wife's salary at that time because mm-hmm. okay. she was able to work because her because th- they were able to work from home. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, and stuff. So. And so it really what it, we really didn't get get the actual approval and everything until June of 20. Okay. And we, I, I believe it was COVID. It wasn't on anything that RYM did. It, it was the COVID, you know what right. I mean? As, gotcha. You know, as, as far as I'm concerned. So if you got your financing in June of 20, do you know when you made your last payment to pay off the house? <laughs> uh, he said, Early this this year, it was it was the end of last year. And okay. the payment, the last payment was a dollar forty cents. <laughs> <laughs> the time is, <laughs> no, con- congratulations! I mean, that's fantastic. So it, it took a little bit longer than the two and a half years, but not much. No, no. Hiccups on the way. Okay. And what have you done? Um, you know, have you had opportunities to to use the equity? Um, it, that you've built up in your house for anything else since the house was paid off? At, 
at this time we we haven't but that uh, however we use we used our home equity line to pay for the tuition for the create your own economy okay okay and what are you working on with create your own economy what's what's your first stop there that's to re replace your retirement gotcha gotcha so um what is your goal with replace your retirement talk to me a little bit about your expectation of that program and how you think that's going to work out uh, we're look i'm looking to i want to be able to have my money working for me okay more more so than what the bank would give give you you know what i mean as far as that's concerned um and that way it gives it's a it's an insurance policy for if i pass away for her so she doesn't it wouldn't have a burden a financial burden okay you know okay. what i mean gotcha. and everything as far as that's concerned and not only that i want to utilize probably utilize it to eventually what we're going to do is because we're going to do this in stages we're going to go from replace your retirement then we're going to go over to what is it, replace your dollar with ross is that what it is Trader's agency yeah yeah it replaces the replace your so replace replace your dollar <laughs> Ross given so yeah okay and then we're gonna get, then we want to we want to get into the real estate of it you know what I mean gotcha. and we, gotcha. we're gonna try, we want to do this probably what within a year to get this everything rolling okay you know what I mean so I, I do um, and I think that's a, a very good path and a good goal you must have had someone smart help you lay that out I'm not sure who that could have been but <laughs> um, so would, would you say, you, you know, just thinking in your day-to-day -day life, if you can think back to prior to signing up and prior to starting to use or replace your mortgage and think, and then kind of flash forward to now, how is using this process changed your day-to-day -day life or your mindset or your just general overall feeling of, um, your, your finances? The first thing I think of is freedom. Okay. It, it freed us from that burden. You know, like it's like it says in the word, the, uh, the borrower is slave to the lender. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that, yes. and, and I could remember like there's times I'm coming home from work and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm a slave to the bank. Right. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And it, 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 it's a burden. It really is. It really is. And when, it, whenever that last payment went in, I could have done the dance of joy in the front street. <laughs> you almost did. <laughs> do you want to come out for us now, Keith? Huh? You want to do it for us now on video? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fantastic, and that's really what this is all about. It's about breaking chains, you know, and 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 setting people free from the just the the downward spiral of being caught in debt all their life. So, congratulations again. I'm I'm very I'm proud of you guys for being able to. <laughs> Do Thank it and, and take take kind of that that leap of faith with the program. Now, um, was were there any challenges for you guys? Like anything that was difficult through the process that that maybe might help somebody else if they get started with us that you can think of? Uh, the, I look at it this way: the only thing that's going to stop you is you okay you know what i mean it's yourself how so you know in because of fear i would fear? say because you don't want to take that step you know what i mean because okay. yeah i mean when i first heard the amount of money that i was gonna have to pay for my the initial uh uh pay payment for replace your mortgage i was a little like whoa you know a little set back but the, the thing is though i also hey if this is gonna, if this is gonna do what it, what they say it's gonna do, it's mm -hmm. gonna save me thousands upon thousands of dollars mm -hmm. in interest, right? And which it did. Okay, you know, so, you, you gotta change, you gotta change your mindset as far as it goes. It's like you know, because I think a lot, some people will, will <coughs> when they see that number, <coughs> excuse me, I see, certainly they get they get scared of it. Okay, they don't look at it as like okay. That that initial investment is going to say it, it, you're not going to be paying interest on them on for that length of time and saving you thousands of dollars. So you're actually making money by putting that money toward 
what you are purchasing. You know, so, so, Keith, if, if you were talking to somebody who was telling you that they're a little afraid to get started with replace your mortgage because of the upfront costs, what, what would you say to them? Basically tell them, don't be afraid because I, I tell them I experienced it. It works. You know what I mean? And reassure them that it works and, and, I'll, and tell them that it doesn't cost you anything to find out if, it, if, it, if it's going to work for you. Gotcha. gotcha. You don't have to put any money up front to find out. You know, so there, you, have not, you have nothing to lose to find out. Mm. And okay. if you really, really want to get financially free, especially from your mortgage, go for it. So is it fair to say that you would recommend this program to other people? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've done it already. I've, I don't know how many people I've done it to and not one. I can't say not one of them, but um, uh, the people that I, that I know that I, I see on like a, on a pretty regular basis, I've told them about it and they haven't done it. And I, and you know, it break, breaks my heart because of the simple fact of what, what this does, you right. know, I mean, <laughs> There was we had a garage door put on a, a couple of years ago, and I told the garage door guy about it. Mm. and gave him all the information, and did he pursue it? That I don't know. Right, right. You know, we certainly appreciate you evangelizing for us. We, we love that. <laughs> um, you know, one of the reasons that we record these is because people need to hear the story of other people that have gone down the path that they're going through. So you're a few steps down the road right now um, from somebody that's just getting started in our process. And your story is going to help them overcome those fears. So thank you. I hope much. so. Um, is there anything else about your experience with Replace Your Mortgage that you guys would like to add? Give you guys the floor for a minute. Yeah. You guys want us to succeed. It's it's in your hearts for to, for us to succeed. And it's like, and you you guys will do anything, almost anything for for the clients to succeed so you know what i mean and i mean sh that showing that care to the client is 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 for no is a lot means a lot yeah. you know what i mean I, I think we all really do put the clients first in, in just about every part of what we're doing here and, and that's it's it's really nice to hear that you feel that way keith thank you um lo looking back my last question for you um, looking back and knowing all the, the things you learned and all the steps you took, is this something that you think you could have done without us? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in big, bold letters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, I, I just like to thank both of you, um, Keith and Lynn, uh, for the time that you took today to record this. Um, I, I really appreciate both of you. It was really nice to get to know you guys the last time that we were on a call with the Create Your Own Economy onboarding. And I look forward to seeing you continue on this journey. And maybe we'll be back again recording another testimonial for um, Replace Your Retirement soon. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Fantastic. Fantastic.